Brent. Where are you going? Uh, just going over to Neil's. Good child's? Yeah. What's his father do? The postman? Uh, he drives a truck for some delivery company. Mm. Well, don't screw around all night. You've got training tomorrow. What? So, hey, Ryan, it's cool, man. I'm just happy you're back. Yeah, we're hanging on the night. All right, man. Later. Neil! Come here. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, buddy? How are you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good, dog. I can't believe the summer's barely half over and I'm already bored with all these people. You haven't heard from him, have you? Honestly, I'm starting not to care. Oh, is that why you spent the whole summer with his best friend? Because if it's to keep tabs on Ryan, I'd be careful. Because you and Brent are starting to look like a couple. And maybe not a bad thing. His dad does own one of the biggest pharmaceutical companies in the country. I mean, he's rich, and he's hot. He's just being a good friend, Sarah. Oh, is that why he's blowing off Kristen Gates to come over here? Hey. Hey. You off your game or something? Because Kristen was all over you, and I thought you wanted to bag her. <laughs> You're the only girl I know that talks like a dude. Which is why I think you can handle this. Actually, I'm not drinking. This is a hundred-year-old scotch. Seriously, I'm good. Okay. Well, here. I have training tomorrow, so I probably shouldn't drink either. So how about we toast to some good, clean fun? Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. You know Ryan's not coming tonight, right? I've got to go. Oh, oh my god. Like, he danced with me. He's so cute. What's wrong with you? Nothing. It's all good. You sure? Yeah. What you get into? Nothing. I think I'm gonna Uber home. What? Why? Your parents are out of town on curfew, remember? I'm just tired. Okay, so I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. Suit yourself. Hey, Sarah, come here. I love you. Hey, look, I'm, I'm sorry about what happened. I mean, that was not cool. I feel like one of my buddies, and I, I totally should not have done that. It's okay. No, it's, it's not. And to make it up to you, I'm going to fully tell Ryan what an idiot is for dumping you. I mean, look at you. You're awesome. <laughs> so if he doesn't get back together with you, I might just need to rough him up a little bit. It's okay, honestly. We're good. For real? Yeah, I mean, you've had to put up with me crying about him for a month, so I'd say we're even. Well, here. I know it's not much of a peace offering, but it's all I got. And at least let me give you a ride home. But don't worry, I promise I will keep my hands on the steering wheel. Let's go.
Hello? Hey, it's me. Oh, what time is it? I don't know, but listen. Did I talk to you or anything after I left last night? Um, no, why? I feel awful. Like, I drank that whole keg, but I wasn't even drinking. Oh, tell me about it. I made out with Greg Larson last night. At least you can remember. What do you mean? Brett was driving me home, and that's the last thing I remember before waking up this morning. It's like I blacked out. Hello? Are you there? I gotta call you back, okay? Okay. Hey. Hey. I just got back from work in Sacramento. I heard. Look, I just wanted to come here and say that I'm sorry. I was really, really stupid to break things off. I just thought it was the right thing to do, you know? I was just, I was gonna be away for a month and my mom was putting a lot of pressure on me to not get into anything serious in my last year. I don't care, okay? I miss you. You okay? Yeah, I miss you too. Jess, look, I'm really, really sorry. It's okay. I'm just happy that you're back. I love you. And I swear I'm not going anywhere, okay? I love you too. So, how was training? It was good. Hmm. Good enough that you've earned the right to drink a hundred dollar bottle of scotch? Of course you haven't. But what really bothers me is that you'd think I wouldn't notice it was watered down. Do you really believe I'm that stupid? Hi. Hello. What? Of course, of course not. I just... You're gonna have to think a lot quicker on your feet if you want to run the company, Brent. And we both want that, don't we? Yeah. Well, my father taught me my lessons to prepare me. You need to learn yours. Finish it. Scott, come this on. This is of no concern to you. Dad, no, I can't. Did you just say no to me? You don't leave until it's done. Brent, sweetie, are you okay? Get out of my way. Sweetheart, are you okay? Leave me alone.
you know, I need that outfit drives me a little crazy. <laughs> Is that why you couldn't keep your hands off me when I wore it to the Frasers? Well, don't remind me, I'll be late for work. <laughs> <laughs> really, guys, you can't wait one more year till I'm off to college, and then you can do whatever you want. Uh, how do you think you got here, young lady? Gross! <laughs> so we have to see you mooning over Ryan every day, but you can't take an old married couple, huh? Not when they're my parents. Uh. Have a great day! <laughs> one more year, honey. One more year. She took my bagel. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, pass it around. Come on, don't be a ball hog. Ryan Harris, you're out. Neil, get in there. Show him how it's done. Glenn, come on, hustle out. Come on. Good job. Let's go. Hey. Hey. How are tryouts going? They're all right. I mean, Brent's definitely making the team. He's like Beckham out there. Hey. So what? You get back together with Rye and that's it? We're done? I mean, it's been like forever since we've hung out. You may be a Davic, but I'm the better catch because I'm so good looking. Okay? I'm just happy you finally got Jess off his shoulder. I mean, she cried on it enough. Shut up, Kristen. Ooh, hit a nerve. Hey, play nice. Hey, Romeo's. Trials aren't over. Let's go. Get out there. Come on, hustle. Okay, move. Going. Go. I'm coming. Okay, so if we want to apply to the same colleges, we basically need to get the same SAT score. Which means <laughs> that you need to seriously work okay. on your math skills. Okay. But right now, we need to get seriously busy before your parents get home. Do you want us to wait until your mother gets here? No. Why? What is it? The urine test I conducted came back positive. Your girlfriend's pregnant. But, but we're always safe. I understand that anything can happen, even when you're using protection. Now, because there's been some bleeding, I'd like to do an ultrasound to rule out an ectopic pregnancy or any other complications. All right, so far, everything looks normal. Except... What? I'm not sure, but... Nope. There it is. You, my dear, are pregnant with twins. Hi. Hi. Come on in. How far along? About eight weeks. And you didn't know? She was confused because of the implantation bleeding, and it was heavier because of the twins. And you're sure they're Ryan's? Mom. What? You two were broken up for most of the summer, am I right? Um, my daughter doesn't sleep around. Well, I don't think a paternity test, once they're born, is too much to ask, considering the impact this would have on Ryan's life. Assuming you're keeping them. She is. And a paternity test is not too much to ask, even if it will prove what we already know. Right, Jess? Sweetie. Yeah. Well, I have a shift starting in less than an hour, and obviously, I can't afford to lose my job. Not now. Ryan? I'll call you later, okay? Mrs. Bradwell, just so you know, 
I never wanted to be with anyone but Ryan. Ever. Remember how much we struggled when we first had Jess? And, and I just agreed to a pay cut so I could keep my job. So how are we going to afford two babies? We have to. I mean, she can't do it by herself. Yeah. Mom, Dad. Um, I need to tell you guys something. And I, I didn't say anything because I wasn't sure, but now... What is it, sweetie? Two months ago, when you guys spent the night in San Francisco, I went to a party with Sarah. Brent Davick offered to give me a ride home. And the last thing I remember is getting in his car. I blacked out. And the next morning, I woke up and I felt... Just did Brent take advantage of you? I think he might have. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I can't remember. And I wasn't drinking anything, I swear. Sweetheart, why didn't you say something sooner? Because I didn't... I didn't believe it. I, I mean, Brent's my friend. And he's Ryan's best friend. And to think that he would... drug me? That son of a bitch! Wait, are you saying that you think you might be pregnant because of what he did? I don't know. Well, we need to go to the police. No, please, please. Just, just, he raped you. I can't remember, Dad! And I want to know for sure, I... I want to take the paternity test. I just need to be sure. Oh, sweetheart, it's, it's safer if you wait. I can't wait seven months, Mom. I need to know the truth, okay? I need to know who the father of my babies are. Hey. Hey. You okay? I don't know. I'm sorry about my mom. She shouldn't have said any of that. No, no. If I were her, I'd want to know for sure, too. So that's why I've decided to get a paternity test at 10 weeks. You don't have to do that. I want to, okay? Why? I just think it's for the best, for everyone. Look, I, I better go, but I love you, Ryan. I love you, too. Hey, bud. Congrats on making the team. You, too. Uh, hey, when I was away, it was just going out with anybody else? I don't think so. Why? If I tell you, you promise to keep it a secret. She counts on her. No, yeah. seriously, like you can't even tell Chris. I got it. It's in the vault. Just as pregnant. With twins. Seriously? Yeah, but she's taking a paternity test and she won't really say why. Well, I wasn't, I wasn't with her all the time, dude. And she was being kind of a flirt when you were gone. So. All right, you guys, let's hit the field. Let's go. Hey, not a word, okay? Yeah. There's no easy way to say this. Ryan is, in fact, a father of one of the babies. The other baby was conceived by a different father. Uh, I'm sorry, how is that possible? It's a rare phenomenon called hetero -paternal. Paternal superfecundation. It can only happen if you have sex with more than one partner in the time leading up to ovulation. Your 11 weeks, that should jog your memory. Wait, is it? Is it possible there's been a mistake? CVS is over 99% accurate. It's a safe bet your daughter's babies have two different fathers. Ryan, wait. 
Brian, wait, Brian. Wait, wait, that's not what you think. Sweetie. Oh. You're 18, right? Yeah. Did you get a rape kit done? No. Any blood work? I told you I didn't exactly know what happened, so I didn't know what to do. I understand that. And to be honest, there's only a small window of a few hours in which we'd be able to detect any drugs in the bloodstream. So what happens now? We'll talk to Mr. Davick. Will he know it's me? He'll know. Brent, I just have a few questions regarding the night of July 1st. Why? What's the relevance of that date? Brent, do you know a Jessica Bell? Um, yeah. Who is she? Mm -hmm. She's a girl in my class. I spoke to her earlier today about something she says happened that night. Can you think of what that could be? I don't know. We'll just get to the point. He has SATs to study for. Fine. Your son is being accused of rape, Mr. Davick. What? Okay, no, no, this, this is not true. The accuser is also claiming that Brent may have fathered one of her unborn twins. No, he is an honor student. He's in line for a soccer scholarship to Whittendale. He is a great kid. Wait, one of her babies? <laughs> this is getting more ridiculous by the minute, but come on. No, apparently not. Miss Bell has a DNA test that proves her babies were fathered by two different partners. Well, who's the other father? And is he being accused of this? I'm not at liberty to say. Brent, is there anything you can tell me about the night in question? It would help a great deal. No, he won't be telling you anything, not without a lawyer present. Mr. Davick, no charges have been filed. I just want to hear your son's side of events. Yeah, I'm aware of what you're doing. Then I'm sure you know a court-ordered paternity test, if positive, would prove sexual contact, consensual or not. So any denials now will look far worse later. Look, we had sex, all right? But she wanted it. Okay, Brent. We both did. It's not like I raped her or anything. Brent, Brent stop talking. Look, Dad. I already said my son will not answer any more of your questions without a lawyer present. Then expect a court order. I'll see myself out. She had been after me all summer. It was obvious. Come on, everyone knew it. You stupid fool, haven't you learned anything yet? I didn't rape her. She's just trying to make it look bad, so her boyfriend doesn't break up with her again, and she won't have anybody to look after her and those babies. Did you protect yourself? She told me she was protected. And you believed her. What should I do? Nothing. Not until we find out if that baby is yours. Is everything I'm seeing for real? Are you seriously pregnant with two babies? 
I was gonna tell you. Oh my god, Jess, are you okay? I mean, have you seen what's been going around? Two babies, double daddies, hashtag slut. I mean, that's gotta be a joke, right? I wish. Ryan, it's not like she slept with anyone else. Oh, well, apparently DNA doesn't lie. I'll catch you in class, okay? So now I know why you wanted to take the fraternity test so bad. Ryan, I wanted to talk to you. Oh, to tell me who you slept with? So was it him? Hmm? Was it Brent? Because it sure looks like that. He made a pass at me at Neil's party, but I turned him down. I don't believe this. He told me he was sorry, and he offered me a ride home. And he gave me a drink, and we left, and then I blacked out. I couldn't remember anything, Ryan. And I woke up the next morning, and my pants were undone and I felt like something had happened. But then you you showed up and I didn't want to think about it or believe it. You believe what? That Brent drugged and raped me. I hear you're two for two. Leave us alone, Kristen, okay? You don't want to hear about how she was all over Brent when you were away? Now look at her. Pregnant with two babies and two different daddies. Quite the score, huh? I want to kill him. Ryan. I want to Ryan, kill him. please. Just let the police handle it. They know? My parents made me report it. So just please don't say anything. It's bad enough as it is. Come on, let's keep up the energy. Come on, come on, hustle, guys. There you go, good job. Good job, guys. Brett, Ryan, bench it. Come on. Come on, guys. Look, man, I'm sorry. I, I wanted to tell you before. But Jess, she, she made me promise not to say anything. But you guys were broken up. You know, and there I was, the shoulder to cry on because you weren't there. I tried to be just buds with her, man. Ask anybody. She was coming on hard. Dude, shut up. Hey. I'm not the only one. People got to know because she's trying to pin this on me. That's why I tweeted. Because now she's trying to pin it on me with these babies and this paternity test that I got to take? I mean, come on. You've been screwed in this too. You son of a bitch! Hey, huh? Huh? Hey, 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 come on. Hey, hey, freak it up. Hey, freak it up. Come on, freak it up. I know you hey. can't. Huh? That's enough. I don't care. Now, you two goons, or out for the next game. What? Now get down to the principal's office and consider yourself lucky you're not off the team. Go. If I see more, any more crap out of you, you're off the team. Ladies, um, Detective Murray is here. She has some news. Hi. The results from the DNA test confirm Brent is the father of your second baby. My God. So what does this mean for Jessica? We have to prove it wasn't consensual. Wait, you're, you're not gonna charge him? We need more evidence that he drugged you. We'd like to question everyone who was at the party that night. Okay, let's do it. Then it would be helpful if you would put together a list of everyone who was there. Detective, since it's proven that it's his baby, he has to pay, right? You can pursue child support. Just know that he has paternal rights whether he's found guilty or not. No, Dad, I don't want anything from him. No, honey, he should pay. Was it worth it? What? The sex. Because I want to know that when I'm busting my ass to get you out of another mess. Tomorrow, put that in her locker. Or she wanted it. She is the one that came on to me. It is always the same with you, isn't it? When the hell are you going to start acting like a man? Look, Dad, I am sorry. I've been working really hard. Are you seeing my grades are good? because I want to follow in your footsteps, get into Wittendale, and run the family business. 
It's all I ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is a son that I can be proud of. Not humiliate me. I will make you proud. I promise. I just can't believe it's not enough to charge him. I know, it's crazy. The detective said that we need more evidence, but at least we have proof it's his. Does it ever bother you, you know, having his baby? Why does it bother you? I mean, it just doesn't seem fair that we should have to deal with what he did. We shouldn't have to deal with it, or you shouldn't have to deal with it? Well, it's not my baby, Jess. I get it, but just so you know, I didn't want it either. Look, I'll, I better go. I'll talk to you later. Jess, I made you a sandwich. Sweetheart, everything's gonna be okay. I said, Mom, because I have two babies inside of me, and one that I could love because it's Ryan's baby, but then the other one... Hey, it's still your child. No matter who the father is. But he raped me, Mom. And I don't know if I can love his baby because of that. Because I'm pretty sure Ryan can't. The worst part is, is that everyone thinks that I wanted it. Like, you should see these tweets and these comments, and it's like I did this on purpose. He did this to you. Don't you ever blame yourself for that. How can I not? Especially if he gets away with it. He's not going to get away with it, OK? I promise you, he won't. The detectives called my parents. They want to question me about Neil's party. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, it's the morning sickness. Wow, Jess, you really look like crap. I guess it would suck knowing that your life's pretty much over. <laughs> Who's gonna want you now? <laughs> Jess. Hey. hey. Oh, oh, my oh, oh my god, you are hey. so hey. disgusting. Hey. Oh, I'm gonna take her to the bathroom. Yeah. Come on. Can you get me some paper towel or something? Call Jenner. Just forget about her. She's a bitch. No, she's right. Everything I planned is gone. Well, you still have Ryan. Would you stick around and care for somebody else's baby? Especially when you didn't even want one in the first place? Because I don't know if I could. Okay. Don't worry. When the police question me, I am going to bury him. It was obvious. I mean, everyone knew that she was after him all summer. It was like they were a couple. Now what's she saying? Well, she was like dancing and flirting. There are pics to prove it. She was still in love with Ryan. That's the only reason she was hanging out with Brent. And she called me the next day because she knew something had happened. I don't believe they were going out, but it kind of looked that way. She's a liar, okay? Brent is one of the most popular guys in school. He could have anyone. Jess doesn't sleep around. Trust me, Ryan was her first and he would have been the only one. Yo, Brent. Hey, man, I'm, I'm being questioned after the game tomorrow. Well, shouldn't be a big deal. I mean, everyone saw she was all over me. Yeah, well, I saw something else. What's that? I saw you, Brent. You put something in that can of soda, man. This, it's not right. Are you kidding me with this? You were so drunk, you don't know what you saw. Yo, I do know. All right? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Well, if you're so sure, why didn't you do something about it then? Huh? And if you did see me do it, and you didn't do something about it, 
Wouldn't that make you just as guilty? Ryan. A word. Listen, I know this is far from being an ideal situation we got here, but it is what it is. And it's my job to do what's in the best interest of the team, which is why I've got to cut you. I'm sorry, Ryan, but I just, I, I can't have a team that can't work together. Clean out your locker. Just make sure when you're in that prosecutor's office, you don't miss anything. All right. See you on the green. That was Larry. They might just be getting lucky here. So far, the cops don't have anything. Neil Goodchild says he saw me put something in Jess's drink. He says he's going to tell the cops when they question him tomorrow. Did you? Dad, it's not like last time. She wanted to get high. I don't high. want to hear any I'm... more about it. I do not want to have to lie under oath. Do you realize the position you put me in? I can't believe this is happening again. It was. All right. Not a word to anyone. You hear me? Not your mother, not your friends. To go. Hey, Artie. Hey, Scott. What can I do for you? Well, actually, I was hoping you could do me a favor. Sure. Anything. What do you need? I need whatever you can pull up. I'm the good child's. said that hopefully the morning sickness will go away soon, but with twins, you never really know. I heard you got cut from the team. Yeah, I, I don't want to be on the same team as Brent anyway. He was my best friend for two years, and now I just hate him. You're a baby too, right? And if it has a part of you, I know I can love it. So, I'm sorry if I made you consider doing something that I know wasn't in your heart. I'm just so scared that I'm gonna end up alone. One day with two babies, and hey, I don't know. Hey, hey, um, hey, hey. I told you. I'm not going anywhere. And I mean it. You are never going to be alone. Brent, do a damn good job of playing off one another, you know that? Thank you, sir. You, uh, you thinking of flying to Whittendale as well? No, I doubt it. I mean, my parents can't really afford to send me there, and there's no way I'll get a scholarship. I mean, Whittendale's one of the best business schools in the country. You do want to go to college, right? Of course. Uh, in that case, I doubt that you're planning on putting that 
DUI charge on your applications. <laughs> you do that, and you're really screwing up your chances. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb, Neil. Be smart about this. Because if you talk to the police about what you thought you saw Brent do, well, then every college in the country will know the truth about your record. Everything all right? Aside from the pass you just missed. Sure. There he is. Brent, Mr. Davick. I don't think we've officially met. I'm Jessica Bell. I'm the girl your son raped. You know, that's not true, Jess. After all, you wanted me to give you a ride home Brent. and... If you want to discuss something, I'd be more than happy to arrange a meeting at my office. With our lawyers present, of course. That won't be necessary. We just want to tell you that I'm keeping my babies, no matter what kind of games you want to play. Did you see them leave together? Yeah, everyone did. And how did Jessica sing? Fine. So is there anything else that you saw or heard that you'd like to tell us? No. Nothing. <sighs> that was fun. That was so much fun. <laughs> Ryan's gonna be bummed. Oh, uh, I know. Poor him. <laughs> he didn't get to go shopping with the girls. He doesn't know what he missed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what is it, honey? I just spoke with Detective Murray, and she said they're not going to prosecute. What? How is that possible? They didn't find any witnesses. Um, so it, it's still your word against his, honey. I don't believe it. He raped me, and now he's going to get away with it. No, 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 no. Look, no. Look, Jess, I know this is hard for you. It, it's, it's hard for all of us. But the detective was very clear from the beginning that it was going to be difficult to make this stick. Okay, so what? He just gets to continue on with his life? I mean, I know I said I didn't want anything from him, but now it just doesn't seem fair because I've seen what you both are sacrificing. And the Daviks who have everything just get away with whatever they want. Is there nothing we can do? No, we could sue, but it'll cost us. Well, we should at least talk to a lawyer. All right, Larry. Thanks. I'll talk to you. Well, it seems the Bells are threatening a lawsuit. It's typical. Well, if they don't have any proof, then there's no way they can win. They don't need any proof. All they have to do is file the lawsuit, go to the media, make a lot of noise, and the damage is done. Dad, you know how sorry I am. And I'll do anything to make this go away. Now, believe me, you'll do plenty. Uh, six o'clock? Um, yeah, six o'clock. Well, I, I gotta discuss it with my wife. Okay, let me know. Yeah. You're not gonna believe it, that was Scott Davick on the phone. What does he want? He wants us all to meet. Huh. Yeah, us and his team of lawyers. No, 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 no. Uh, honey, no, he, uh, he said no lawyers. I, I think it, it, it sounds like he wants to work something out. No, there's nothing to work out. Look, I, I think we should at least go, see what he has to say. We know what he has to say. Trisha, the cost of this lawsuit, I, I mean, the retainer alone is over $10,000. Where are we going to get that kind of money, huh? And even if we do find it, what are the chances we're going to win this thing in court? Why don't we just go and listen to him? Fine, but I am not accepting any money from that man. I want to go too. Oh, no, 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 that's a bad idea. I mean, Dad, this is about me. I have a right to be there. I have a right to make a decision for myself. So, uh, how are you feeling? Fine. 
Good. You know, twins, that's really something special. Two babies. We never had any twins on my side of the family. Any morning sickness or anything yet? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I always thought that was the, the hardest part, was the morning sickness. You sure I can get you a drink? Uh, scotch? Well, I do have a fine cognac over there. Yeah, no, I don't drink. OK, then. It's all right. Well, I am glad to see that Jessica is staying hydrated for the babies. I know how important that is from when Candace was pregnant. Yes, I drank 10 bottles of water a day. I don't understand why all of a sudden you're so concerned about the babies. Last I heard, you wanted to get rid of them. I think we can all agree that some mistakes were made here. Mistakes? That's what you call it? Because I call it rape. If you think I raped you, why would you even want to keep Brent, that is enough. I just want to have a civilized conversation without lawyers, because none of us needs to spend that kind of money. Hmm? I don't see why we can't all just come to our own agreement. I think we all know that raising one child is costly enough, but two, well, that can put a strain on anyone. So, uh, I was thinking. that this might help. Now, just so you don't go thinking that uh, Brent is shirking his responsibilities, that money comes from his trust fund. We don't want your money. Oh, uh, wait a minute, just, just wait a minute. Roy. Trisha, please. What are you asking us to do in exchange for this? I think considering the sum, an agreement that you'll refrain from filing any lawsuits would be fair. Also an agreement that you will never comment on this issue ever again, publicly or privately. You think you can just shut me up with a check? Just, just let me. No, Dad, no, look at what he did to me. You think that a big fat check just makes that right? No, someone needs to kick his ass. Let's go. Wait, 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 just a second. Just a second here. You don't need to decide right now. Just think about it. Think about how far that money would go to help raise those two children. That's your answer. OK, no. but there's one thing you might want to consider before you leave. You go ahead with this suit. I promise you, my lawyers will drag this out for years and bleed you financially until you have nothing. You really want to lose everything? Your savings, your house? I think my offer is exceedingly fair considering the alternative. I hope that you are both very proud of your son. Lawsuit. Are you sure you want to put yourself through that? Yes. Whatever it takes to get that sick jerk. Yeah, but remember what Daddy said. We could spend all that money and still lose. And then what? You really want Brent to be able to hurt us again? Okay, so he just gets a pass. He gets to go to this nice college and he gets to keep his stupid trust fund and I'm stuck raising two kids? No, no, you have me and your dad and Ryan and you're gonna have two wonderful children. Brent will never have anything as beautiful as that. I felt them today. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time. It was just this little flutter, but I knew it was them. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
Oh! <laughs> oh my god, I felt it! Yeah. I think that's the one on the right. He Aww. or she's a bit spunkier. <laughs> Aww. My sweetie. <gasps> Jess? Um, I don't know. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Roy, oh. get the car! All right. It's okay, sweetie. It's oh, okay, come on. No, you're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. How are you doing? Better. Where's my mom and dad? I sent them downstairs for a break. They haven't slept a wink all night. How are the babies? Behaving. Back to normal. We've got you on progesterone, so this shouldn't happen again. Did I do something? Did I cause this? Oh, no, honey, no. But it's a good thing we got you in here when we did. Another hour, things could have turned out differently. Hey, hey, hey. You okay? I came as soon as my mom called. Everything's fine now. <sighs> oh, I have something to show you. They took this photo during your ultrasound. <laughs> they were able to determine the sexes. Do you want to know? Yeah. Well, sometimes they trick us, but from the looks of it, you're having a boy and a girl. <laughs> Can they tell whose is Ryan's? Hey, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay? They're brother and sister, and we're a family. You're a strong young woman, Jessica. I'm proud of you both. I'll be back in a little while to take your blood pressure. They're incredible. And they're ours. Look, you see that? What? It looks like they're holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what people think. I mean, they can judge me if they want, but I'm not ashamed or afraid. The only one who should be afraid is Brent. You're not gonna get away with this. I already have. Just like you got away with drugging me and raping me. Did you not hear what my dad said? Oh, so you're gonna go call your daddy? Hey, daddy, make this little girl stop pestering me. I know I raped her, but she won't leave me alone. Oh, what are you gonna do? Hit me? You rape me and then you beat me up? Yo, back off, bro. You don't want to go again. Cut off the phone with Dean Nordoff at Wittendale. Someone tipped him off to this mess. Since then, he's been scouring social media. He put your application on hold. It's Jess. She's messing with me, Dad. She put up a banner at school calling me a rapist. Oh. I thought you said she couldn't do that. That you were going to stop her. Oh, you're blaming me? You're the one who swore never again. And here we are. Now both of us, all of us, are, are paying the price. Let's not go there, Scott. Let's just try to... I will take care of this, Candace. 
Now, this is the last time I bail you out. Yes, sir. What? Are you against me now, too? I clean these off your floor the day your father made you drink that scotch. Your father's not the only one looking out for you. That son of a bitch, he just can't let it go! Can we fight this? Honey, we have to. He's suing Jessica for defamation. And you know, either way we lose. We lose money paying the lawyers, or we lose money paying out to that bastard. So what are we supposed to say to Jess? That, that she can't say anything? Well, honey, if she keeps talking, things will just get worse. Yes, but how do we explain to her that she can't say things about... I'm sorry. I'll stop. I was being selfish. I won't do it again. I promise. No, 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 honey. I'm the one who's sorry. I... If only we could do more, I... Yeah, we can walk around, then we can grab some food or something. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, have to go. Who are you talking to? Just a friend I might meet up with later. Well, you're not going anywhere. It's my 18th birthday, and we gotta celebrate. <laughs> What's going on with you? Look, Ron, there's a reason that it's just you and me on your birthday. Okay, nobody wants to hang out with you anymore. I don't care what anybody else thinks. Okay? Well, I do, okay? I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! It's okay. Get off! It's okay. Brett! It's fine. Ow! Ow! Nobody tells me no, okay? You're getting huge. Thanks. Feel great. That's a nasty bruise. What happened? The new business. I heard about you and Brent. Did he do that to you? If he did, you have to say something. If enough of us speak up, we can stop him. Look, I'm not you, okay? I don't need to lead a crusade. Say to me, get out of my way. <laughs> what happened to that mouth of yours, huh? Can't catch your tongue. I wouldn't be so smug, Brent. I'm not the only one who knows about you. You're not off the hook yet. So he did the same thing to this Emily girl. Yeah. Well, you, you have to tell the cops. I can't. Emily trusted me not to say anything. I mean, she hasn't even told her parents that she's coming forward. Okay. Well, when are you meeting with her? Tomorrow. Okay. I'm going with you. No. She wants me to come alone. I don't think that's a good idea. I'll be fine. Maybe we're finally gonna get him.
Sorry. I just didn't mean to stare. I'm a lot bigger because of the twins. You know, it kind of makes me feel like I'm lucky in a way. I mean, Brent raped me, but I didn't get pregnant. Can I ask you, how much do you remember? Not a lot. We'd gone out a couple of times. The third time, he wanted to sleep with me, and I said no. And he seemed okay with it, so he took me home. Except I don't remember getting home. I just remember the next morning, knowing he... I had a rape kit and a drug test done. I had everything I needed to nail him. And then his father offered us a deal. I know how that makes me and my parents look, but it was the only way I was able to go to college. It's okay. No, it's not. Because look at what happened to you. I don't care about this deal. Let them sue me, I'm gonna talk. So he can't ever do this again. Okay. I'm gonna go home and talk to my parents. I have to tell them what I'm gonna do. They signed the deal too. Yeah. But tomorrow, I promise, I'll talk to this detective. Thank you, Emily. Good luck with everything. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, that's great, Mom. All right, I'll see you in about an hour. Why were you talking to Jess? Did you follow me? You better not be planning on breaking the deal. My father will sue you. Leave me alone. I hope you have like a million dollars. Because you're gonna need it. You and your dad don't call the shots anymore, Brent. Sue all you like. The police report is pretty clear. The accident that killed Emily Harding was due to a combination of excessive speed and distracted driving. What do you mean? What distracted her? Just before the accident, she had pulled up a number on her cell phone, her parents. It probably contributed to her losing control of the vehicle. How awful. She was probably calling to tell them that she's coming home to talk about Brent because of me. Sweetie, it's not your fault. And your mother's right. That stretch of road is known for speeding. Her accident hadn't been the first. What about Emily's story? It proves that Brent did this before. She never came to us. We never saw the evidence. The whole thing was handled privately. I spoke to the mother this morning, told her about the situation, but she made it clear they didn't want to have anything to do with it. They're afraid of the Daviks. They're not going to help you. 
We can't just sit back and pretend that everything's gone back to normal. We have to. My dad said I can't talk to or go anywhere near Brent because of the lawsuit. Looks like I'm just gonna have to lay low for a little while. Well, I don't. He's not suing me. I mean, you can't keep all of us quiet, Jess. All right, listen up, guys. Listen up. This is the biggest game of the year. There is a team out there that is coming after you. We are going to play hard. We are going to play until that clock says zero. We are going to hustle, hustle, hustle. Yeah. Neil, what is the key to the game? Teamwork. Teamwork. Everybody plays like a team. We get in there. We're going to win this thing. All right? Let's go. Pull it out. Three, one, two, three. Let's get it. Pass the ball. Pass it. Teamwork. Come on. Hustle, guys. Hustle. Come on. Yeah, that a boy! Right. <laughs> Way to go, Debbie. Neil, get in there. Come on, hit the wings, guys. Pass it. Come on. Keep it going now. Don't stop. There we go. There we go. Keep it going. Don't stop. Woo! Way to go, Debbie! Oh, yeah! Go, go, 18! something. What do you want me to do? Have them all arrested? Damn it! Off! What are you doing? You benching my son? That's right. He's the best you've got! He was. Sit down. I know where he did it. You're sure you saw the cell tower near the parking lot? I'm sure. Well, sometimes the drugs won't cause a total blackout. Bits of memory can come back to you. How can that help her case? The school has security cameras. One of them might have caught something. I assure you, this will in no way tarnish the image of the school. Yes, yes, I understand that. But tomorrow there'll be another whole viral video and this one will be forgotten. It's a safety issue, Scott. Well, how about our money, huh, Frank? How's that treating you? We have paid for more libraries and wings and your personal bonuses than anyone else. So don't sit there on your holier-than-thou throne and tell me that my son is not good enough for Wittendale. So how does it feel? What? To lose the championship. The coach said not to worry. We'll get the trophy back next year. The year you're supposed to be at Wittendale. I guess. Well, you can kiss that goodbye. You know, when I was your age, I had one goal. One goal. To make my dad proud. He was a great man. And I wanted to be just like him. And you? All you seem to want to do is let me down. You know, Mom said Grandpa was a bastard. Get out.
We got him. Brendavik, you're under arrest for the rape of Jessica Bell. Put your hands behind your back, please. All right, what the hell are you doing? You have the right yeah. to remain That's silent. That's right something. If you Mom. cannot afford one, one will be provided for you. All right, you call Larry. Go on. Brent Davick, the son of Scott Davick, CEO of Davick Pharmaceuticals, was released on bail today after formally being charged with sexual assault. A spokesman for the family continues to deny all of the charges and to insist that they will fight this in court until the younger Davick is fully exonerated. When asked about the alleged video evidence, a spokesman said... I can't believe they let him out. Power of money. Well, it's okay, because there's no way he dodges jail time. I'll believe that when it's over. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It doesn't look good. The video evidence is the most compelling in any case. Now that they have it, they'll be seeking the maximum. And what is that? Eight years. Eight years? <laughs> There's no way. Like I said, that's the maximum. But we can't try a plea. You, the jury might go easy on you. After all, this is your first offense. Excuse me, Larry. Dad, where are you going? The shareholders want to talk to me right now. I'll be in my office. With this scandal, I don't feel comfortable with the Davick name anymore. You should just resign, Scott. It's all for the good of the company. You might as well keep that name. You destroyed everything my father built. Everything I built. You're a disgrace. Dad. <laughs> I'm your son. I don't have a son anymore. Get out. <laughs> Dad, the way I you said. Went. Get out. I never want to see you again. So don't be here when I get back. Give a damn? Because I know you don't. Brent, where are you going? No! I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place. No, Brent, don't! Oh, God. Yeah? What did you say to him? I kicked him out. You what? Candace, I've made my decision. Well, he just left. Good. With your gun. Did, did he say anything? Oh, God, he said... He said something about doing what he should have done in the first place. Scott. Scott! Still hungry? Oh, of course I'm still hungry. <laughs> 
eating for three, remember? Well, should I get takeout? <laughs> takeout? Yeah. What, are you trying to gain baby weight, too? I just want my kids to get a good meal, that's all. <laughs> anyway, call me if you need anything. Okay. Sounds good. Love you. I love you, too. Bye. Bye. Mom? Dad? Hey, change your mind about takeout? No, Ryan, I think it's Brent. I think he's here. Ah! What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Get out of my house. God, we were all friends, Jess. And now all you want to do is destroy my life. For what? Ten minutes? You can't even remember. But hey, you got what you wanted. You get to play house with Ryan. But what about me? What did I get? I got nothing because of you. You're right. You're right. I shouldn't have said all those things. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm really, really sorry. I'm sorry. Shut up. You're not sorry. You knew exactly what you were doing. Dad? Babies. I am so sick of hearing about those babies. I'm done with them. With you, with all of it. Brent. Dad? Go home. Dad, you said. I know what I said, and I was wrong. Do what I say, and and everything will be okay. No. No, no, no. Give me the gun. No. 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 Brent, put down the gun. No. Oh. 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 But then I swear that Charlie was purposefully trying to poke her with his foot. So she's up now. Come here. Come here. Charlie. Is that right, buddy? Were you bugging your sister? Huh? Charlie. Charlie, Charlie. Buddy. Yes, you were. I'm sorry I can't stay longer to help. But I'll come by tomorrow to give the kids a break. Thank you, Charlie. Goodbye, sweetheart. 
Bye, Mom. Bye-bye. I'll see you tonight. Bye. Bye. Okay, so now that you're back from school, oh. why don't you let me have the babies? Oh, yes, sweet babies. Oh, and I can feed them. And you guys can get going on your studying. If we have to. Yes, you do. Bye. Come on. I'm gonna fill you in on who Kristen's sinking her claws into these days. Oh, great. Okay, you two. The milk's gonna be ready in one minute. Let me just warm it up. Hello, Trisha. Candace. What can I do for you? I was hoping I could see my grandson. For just a minute. I don't think so. My husband's dead, and my son is spending the rest of his life in prison, so... So please. I have no one else left. Except for my grandchild. Oh, is that him? Please, for just one minute. She wants her bottle, excuse me. That's okay, Charlie. You're a devic, you know that. That's right. And you know what's special about that? And one day you're going to make grandmother very 